greatest passions these days is golf. And what I've learned about golf fanatics like us is that we will never give up trying to find equipment to help us improve our score. I'm fascinated by how big the heads oh, yeah. on drivers have gotten. I mean, big, big, really big. That's got to be the hottest and strangest golf development. It is amazing just how big these heads have gotten on these clubs. You want amazing? Mm -hmm. Here's amazing, Dina. Look at the head on this driver. And I think if you took this out on a course, you could really damage a ball or your yeah. friends or anything you wanted to with this baby. But I'm gonna ask Len to roll some tape and we're gonna show you for reference an ordinary big-headed driver. But next to it, take a look at the candid camera model. Now, oh, that's big. Now, do you think golfers are going to actually buy ridiculous clubs like these? To find out, we visited the Rancho Cañada Golf Course here in California, but inside the clubhouse, I'm going to play the part of a salesman introducing our new giant clubs. So let's watch. Now, now hold this club with your normal stance. This is the biggest head in golf. I guess. I guarantee you, this is the biggest, 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 biggest. Yeah, the biggest head. one I've seen. It is. <laughs> you couldn't have seen one bigger. Nope. You see, our pledge to the golfing community, Phil, is that if anyone were to come up with a bigger head than ours, we'll make a bigger one. That's our pledge to the golfing community. Isn't that something? Yes, yeah, pretty wild. Do you have any questions about playing with a club this big? No, I don't think I'll be able to miss the ball this time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what we found? A bad player can always find a way to miss a ball. Yeah. Now, see, with a head that big, see, you need a big are you, shaft. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. This is the most powerful head in golf. We feel that the bigger the head, the farther the ball will go. I'd have to see that. Well, you're going to today. Now, will you use this for 18 holes? Yeah. I just want you to look at this. Whoa. Isn't this great? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now that's a golf club, my yeah. friend. You see? Great. That one. Ah, that's a man's <laughs> golf club, isn't it? This is a very forgiving club because it has such a big sweet spot. Mm-hmm. I'll say it does. Yeah, I mean this is the I'm biggest just amazed. this is the biggest head in golf. <laughs> I can always tell a good golfer by how many tees they have stuck in their head. Absolutely. <laughs> now, it really seems that golfers were eager to try these new clubs. I just wonder how they're going to react when they learn about the secret ingredient. Well, you know, that's another wild part of the real golf club sales pitch. Mm -hmm. They make titanium heads, so I decided to sell uranium heads. <laughs> now, folks, uranium is very dangerous <laughs> stuff. It's what they use to make nuclear bombs. So let's see who's going to buy that. Once you get used well, to it. Well, I can't do any harm. No, I can't do any harm. So I'll give it yeah, a try. You're going to give it a try. Absolutely. Now, yeah. Now, let me explain to you that it does have a, a uranium-titanium alloy in there. So you don't want to handle the head of the club. Oh, uh-huh. Okay? okay? You want to restrict your handling to the grip sure. and the shaft. Right, right. But don't touch that head. Okay. Because it does have a bit of uranium in there. Okay. And that's where the power comes from. Okay. okay. Are you familiar with uranium? No. No. It, it's powerful. No. It is powerful stuff. In fact, this club will last forever. Let me tell you why. The half-life of uranium is over 300 years. Okay. So... <laughs> I mean, this club is going to outlive you and me and all well, the other Well, the only golfers. thing I'm concerned about yeah. a club is go out there and see what it does for me. You want results. That's right. Your I don't care about all this other... Uranium, I want No, titanium. I don't care. It's how I can do what I can do with it. You're what we call results-oriented. Yes. Yeah, how it. true. Yeah. So you want to get this big baby out on the course. Yeah, and see what it can do. See do what for, it can do, do for, for you. Me. You know who else is about to start using this club? Who? In celebrity tournaments? Peter Funt from the Candid Camera Show. Okay. He's going to use this on TV. So you'll be See, sure I don't to care watch. What, I don't care what he uses. It's yeah. how I do it. That's what I said. Yeah, when I he told me that, I, I said, Peter who? Yeah, what the I heck care. do I care what I he uses? I don't care what he uses. Now, which one would you be using on television? <laughs> when you're on Candid Camera, which club will you use? I would use this if it works. On the candid camera. Don't go away from me here. Come back here. Yeah, but you're on television. Turn around.
turn around. <laughs> because you are. <laughs> now, they haven't quite made a club this big yet. <laughs> <laughs> what did right. you think when I told you you're going to well, play with a club like no, that? I was huh? going to play with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really were. <laughs> oh boy, he was playing and praying. He huh? was going to practice. Yeah. That was a very determined group of golfers, determined not to let common sense get in the way of their golf games. <laughs> but in the course of our day, we met one other interesting person who it turned out was planning to trick her friends on the very day that we showed up to trick her. So let's return to the golf shop to meet her. <gasps> now, oh, come on. Right, now you see, I told you oh, you'd be excited. On. Did I tell you? <laughs> oh, I Did wouldn't I... be caught dead. You Why? gotta be kidding. I can't stand looking at it, you know what? what? It's sort of like my nose ring, which isn't real. But I'm going to fake out. My girlfriend said that real. it's not real because I would never do that. Oh. But it freaks Gee, people out. Me. It's the book. I thought you were... Judge a book by its cover. Yeah. I freak people out. I, I thought very... you were one of those sort okay. of forward thinking yeah. people. No, not at all. Yeah. That's why I have a problem with this. <laughs> yeah, but you see, yeah, but, okay, but, but okay, put that fake nose this ring and back there. Girlfriends yeah. coming yeah. in. Yeah. When they see this, they're yeah. going to think I've gone off the deep end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Oh, yeah, right. But I mean, if my mother's coming to town. I'm faking her out today. She's already in a depression over it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ed, you know why I want you to smile with your fake nose ring? Why? Because you're on candid Oh, camera. come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Are you really? You're damn right. You think anybody could actually hit a golf well, ball with Come here, take off that fake nose ring. There may be relatives of yours watching right now. <laughs> you well, you see, there's a lesson there, folks. Don't ever go out in public with your fake nose ring unless you want all of America to be watching.